Hello dear crafters. So sorry we can't be together this month. Um, I thought that even though we can't be together, we can still craft together. So I was trying to think of something we could do with the supplies that you've just got at home rather than any expensive craft supplies that you might not have. And I realised it's a little bit like how I used to craft as a child with just what I had around the house. Um, and my dear sister-in-law Rowan came up with this great idea of making a landscape with paper strips. So it's sort of iris folding. That's what it looks like on the back. So what you'll need is lots of pieces of paper from magazines. So plain papers, landscapes are particularly good, um, and things from garden magazines, flowers, that sort of thing. Then you'll need scissors, pencil, ruler, sellotape, and a round thing to draw around. Then you'll need some card, two pieces of card, one smaller than the other and then a piece of folded card so that you can make it into a card at the end or a frame if it's good enough. So the first thing you need to do is draw round your smaller card onto the larger card and then cut out the window so that you end up with a frame that looks a little bit like this. Okay and then the next thing you want to do is cut a circle out of yellow paper. Uh, I just drew round something to find my circle and this is your sunshine. I think flowers look particularly good for this. And then you're going to work from the back of your um, frame and you're going to put your yellow flower just in that top corner and use some very small pieces of sellotape to sellotape it down. So that you've got your sun. You've got your sun in the top corner there. Now you need to cut yourself some strips of the magazine paper. So cut them about two centimetres wide. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to use a ruler. And then fold them in half so that you've got the pretty side outside. Okay. And you're going to start with the first strip at the bottom of the card. Make sure you put the fold towards the top. And then you use some very small pieces of sellotape to stick that strip on both sides. And then you get your next piece of magazine paper, fold at the top and again stick it both sides. It's quite nice if you um, slant them a little bit so they're not all really straight. So that it's going to look a little bit like that. Okay, so carry on putting on your strips until you get about two thirds of the way up the card. I've done a sort of landscape here, so I've started with flowers, then I've got green for a meadow, blue for a lake, uh, sort of lighter green trees, darker green trees, and then a bit of brown for the mountains. I did actually find some actual mountains on a, a landscape picture, so I'm going to stick those on to make the last piece of the landscape coming up. So I'm just using tiny, tiny pieces of sellotape to stick that down either side. Remember to put the fold upwards each time. Okay, so now you've got your, your mountains. And now we're going to start putting the rays of the sun on like this. So I've cut myself out various strips of yellow, um, some from flower magazines, um, flower catalogues. So for the sun's rays, I've drawn on the back of my sun some pencil lines from the corner of the card sort of radiating out across the sun which will give me some idea of what slope, what angle to do each of the pieces for the sunshine. So obviously the first one is quite small so you just tuck that in the corner like that, put your small pieces of sellotape on like that following one of those lines. So there's the first bit of your sun's rays and you just carry on putting the fold upwards all the time, trying to match them so they radiate out from those lines that you've drawn on the back of your sun. And when you've put all of your sun's rays on, it will look a little bit like this. Don't worry if there's any little gaps because you can just put some blue paper behind. Well, well done everybody. So you should now have a lovely landscape picture made just out of magazine strips like this. So all you need to do now is just 
stick it to a card like this, a folded piece of card, or if you're really proud of it, you can put it in a frame. So please feel free to send this video activity to any of your friends and family who are also stuck at home in these days. I'll try and do another video next month. So goodbye for now. Keep safe and keep well. Lots of love.